Hello everybody and uh, we're all clear sighted now because it's 2020. <laughs> Happy New Year naughties. Uh, and for our first recipe of 2020 we are off to Mauritius uh, in the Indian Ocean. Yeah. And uh, what we're going to cook is it couldn't be easier. I think it's probably the simplest recipe we have made so far. Uh, we're going to make a Neapolitan. And a Neapolitan is basically a sugar cookie uh, that has a uh, icing on top of it. And uh, in the case of a Mauritian Neapolitan, it is a pink or red. And so, because it's pink or red, I thought I'd go hearty. So you can, uh, you can always make these for Valentine's, which isn't a million miles away. So, let's get cooking! Um, easy peasy pudding and pie. I'm going to shimmy around here. Oh, different angles today. Mm, it's a whole new year, whole new experience. So, for the cookies, couldn't be easier. Two cups of uh, um, flour, any old type, you know, regular flour. And a cup of butter, two sticks that is. So that makes the actual uh, biscuit or cookie. Then you are going to sandwich it with jam. I've got strawberry, you can use raspberry. Um, I'm sure you can use anything you fancy, really. Um, and then for the icing sugar, or for the icing, two cups of icing sugar, a little bit of water to loosen it up, and uh, red food colour. I guess if you um, are using lemon curd in the middle, you could make it yellow. If you were putting um, gooseberry jam, you could make it green. Whatever you fancy. So, uh, let's make the, um, let's get going on the cookie. And we're going to bring in me Christmassy kitchen aid to do this. Oh, I don't need that one. What am I doing? Put that back down. I'm taking these two. This is all we need, right? Uh, here's my kitchen aid. Here's my two cups of uh, flour. In you go. I put my... Um, I put my... Sorry. I put my um, hook on for this. Uh, for, you know, if you're kneading bread or making dough, um, I, I love this because it doesn't overwork the um, dough and you definitely don't want to over, uh, overwork it. Make sure you don't want your cookies to be um, hard. You want them to be light and fluffy, you know. Light and fluffy, that's the way we like it, particularly in Mauritius, I'm told. Uh, one stick of butter, it's nice and soft, room temperature. Uh, and here's the other one. La I hope everybody had a nice Christmas, by the way, and a happy new year. Um, I had a bit of surgery. You might see I'm a bit gimpy in my arm. I have a torn rotator cuff. It's called old man's disease because I'm <laughs> Shut up, Tim. Okay, and uh, uh, there we go. I'm going to put that on. Um, until it turn, until it starts to come together. So uh, I'll put that on very slowly. Oh, look at yeah, that might be a bit too slow. I'm gonna take it up and then. I'm always terrified that the flour is gonna just explode everywhere. You know what I mean? Uh, Okey pokey. So I have whipped together the butter and the flour in my gorgeous Christmassy kitchen aid, uh, and um, it's come together very nicely. If you find that you're, uh, don't overwork it, because I'm, I'm just, I'm actually talking to myself here, I'm, I'm starting to overwork it. Uh, if it's a bit too sticky, you know, too much butter, then just add a bit more flour. And likewise, if it doesn't come together, you can see it's come together quite nicely there. Um, uh, you can add a bit more butter, but play, play it, um, play it by eye, ear, finger. Uh, my modest uh, roll of cling film, let's take out a section. You know what to do with the pastry. It needs to, uh, needs a little bit of time to uh, have all of those uh, gluten strands become nice and, uh, I think it makes them stretchy, doesn't it? Um, I forget the exact terminology, but the long and short of it is you have to put it in the fridge uh, so that it is uh, ready for cooking. There it is, into the fridgey, 
and uh, we'll see you in about 20 minutes or so. Here it is, ready for action. So, a uh, piece of cake. I say that a lot, don't I, that piece of cake? It's a piece of biscuit. Uh, just going to roll this out. Um, I've lightly um, floured my surface here. It's a nice cool surface. It's me, me faux marble because uh, you want to keep your pastry nice and cool. I've got my favourite little Chinese um, rolling pin. These are for making dumplings. Bought this when we were in, uh, in China. And we are, I th as I think I mentioned, you can make these at any shape. I think the, m the more traditional shape is round, but I'm going to make a couple of shapes of hearty. Uh, and so, um, a big one and a little one. So if you're feeling greedy, you can have a big one. If you're feeling modest, you can have a little one. Um, obviously, you're going to need two for each cookie. And I've, I've, um, I've brought it out to about a quarter of an inch thick. So, here we go. Lots of little hearts and a couple of big ones there. Um, they're good to go into the oven now. So I've, I've preheated the oven at 320 and they're going to go in there for about 25 minutes. But you know, keep an eye on them. Uh, they, the, this type of thing very quickly can overcook. Okay, here we go. It's about 20 minutes. Uh, oh, they look nice. I've already got a few out, so uh, there you go. They're starting to go a little tiny bit brown around the edges. That's just about perfect. What we're going to do then is we're going to let these cool, and in fact, some of these might even be cool. I think these are probably cool enough, but we'll let these cool, um, and then we're going to put the little jam in the middle. So probably half a teaspoon of uh, jam and smush it in all the corners so it's nicely evenly spread around. There we go. Actually that might even be a bit too much. I'm going to put a bit more onto there. There we go. And once that is on like that, I think I'm going to put one of the less well cooked ones there. And you make a little love sandwich, so to speak. Everybody loves a love sandwich? Yeah, I think they do. Anyway, we'll come back in a minute when I've uh, finished doing these. And then we'll go on to the last little bit, which is the icing of these wee babies. So uh, we'll see you in a tickle. We finished the uh, the little sandwiches, which are uh, two cookies with the jam, a little bit of strawberry jam in the middle. We're going to quickly whip up the icing that we're going to pour over the top. So I be careful with this. You want um, you want the icing sugar to be thick enough to stay on the cookie. Uh, but you don't want it to be so thick that it sort of makes a giant blob. So I, a reminder, this is two cups of icing sugar, and I put in, so far, I probably put in about three tablespoons um, of water. And it's always, as I'm sure you know if you've done this before, it's always amazing how, how much the icing sugar reduces in volume. Uh, it's almost halved in size already. Uh, before I add any more water, I am going to put a little bit of um, red food colouring in. So I've got a little hole there. That's three drops. I'm going to uh, see how that goes to begin with. Um, I'm, I'm 
I'm looking for a pink rather than a red. I definitely need a bit more water. That should do it. And so, oh yeah, that's going to be a nice pinky colour. And you'll see over here what I've done is put my um, I've, I put my cooling um, thing. What do you call that? A cooling thingy uh, over a little uh, uh, baking. <laughs> A baking tray um, and so what I will do once I get the right consistency here is I'll just pour it over and anything that doesn't go on the cookie will plop um, into the baking tray below so here we go uh, pourry pourry let's see how we can do and that will hopefully do some drippage maybe I need a little tiny bit more Let's see how we do. We can always make more, I guess. Drippy, drippy. Yum, yum, bubbly. Ooh. Ooh, look at these sweet little babies. Ooh, these are going to make someone happy. There they are, our Neapolitan hearts. All we have to do now is uh, let them sit and harden up and then put on the kettle. Because I think these, like so many things, are going to be divine with a cup of tea. Now I think about it, um, I mean it couldn't be a simpler uh, cookie because it is literally butter and flour, not even any sugar in there, but the sweetness comes from the icing sugar and the jam in the middle. So it's like a, uh, it's, it's a variation on a, on a shortbread, which um, in our family is uh, one of the favourite cookies of all time. <laughs> it is so light, so divine, like the most tasty, not overpowering um, shortbread uh, with that little kick of strawberry jam in the middle. Oh, I'd give this a 10 out of 10. Anyway, there was our whirlwind trip to Mauritius. Uh, we're kicking off 2020 in grand form. We've got all sorts of uh, uh, great plans for uh, the new year uh, here at uh, Just Dessert. So uh, thank you so much for visiting. We'll see you again next time. And we will be working on Mayotte Islands. And after that, Mexico. So come see us again. Take care, everybody, and Happy New Year. Woohoo!